Live from Los Angeles, welcome back to Good Morning La La Land. Renowned actor, voiceover artist Jonathan Adams is in the house. New season of Last Man Standing, new network. Mm -hmm. Tell us all. Okay, well, I don't know about renowned. First renowned. of all, <laughs> just know, accept I, that. You know, I'm just, just I, receive. Can't, I can't accept renowned. <laughs> Sorry, man. It's all right. It's but all right. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. Last Man Standing is going great. I'm just so happy to happy that it came back. We had. Uh, we had, you know, that just weird season where they canceled us, and I, I still don't know why. Yeah. I, I don't get it. But um, but we got canceled, and we came back, and we're better than ever, and they love us on Fox, and uh, we're having a really, really good time. That's awesome. On Good Morning, Lala, we'd like to hear a lot about people's, their personal journey, their stories of, of mm -hmm. overcoming difficult things in their life. And I know that to become an incredible, renowned actor, um, <laughs> it, takes, it usually takes building some character and going through some stuff in life to kind of be able to even, you know, hone and master those skills. Tell us a little bit about some things that you've kind of had to overcome. Okay, well, uh, yeah, I, it's, it's the strange thing about acting for me is I think I learned I learned acting being, I don't know if I, okay, being a, a black kid who was relatively like intelligent having to navigate the world of being being black mm -hmm. in like in a sort of low income area being smart and you know and you know everybody accepting that as what what he is oh he's a smart kid and dealing with you know de being you know in every other part of the world so in my view I feel like I had developed three different languages. Like I had to talk to black people this way, I had to talk to smart people this way, I had to talk to everybody else this way. <laughs> and I and so, and I realized that I had these three different languages, I had these three different ways of being around people. And then when I discovered acting, it became also a part of it as well. Mm -hmm. You 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 have these three different, I ha, you have these ways of being and it becomes pretending and it becomes a language and it becomes more and more and more. So, uh, you so know, is this your authentic worth, self but, right here or are you putting on an act? <laughs> Here's the question. Who is that? Is, yeah, really, yeah, right. you know, as an actor, I, acting, I, right? sometimes I wonder who is that, yeah. you know? No, I think this is my authentic self. Let me check. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But you make a good point, and that was my experience, very similar experience. Um, and But when I was different with different people, I was genuinely and authentically connecting to a part of who I truly was. Did you well, find that? No, no. I didn't realize yeah. that until yeah. later. Uh, you know, you see, what I realized as an actor yeah. is that uh, you, you only have yourself to uh, work with. Mm. You only have um, your own, your body, your face, your mind, your spirit, the things you've grown up around, things you've known, things you've read, the things you've discovered in the world. You only have those things to draw from. And so I realized that, you know, even though I'm creating a character that's totally different or creating an experience that is totally different for me, that is not something I would do or be, I was only drawing for myself, so they were all me anyway. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's, 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 it's like when you're dreaming, mm -hmm. you're only, you, I mean, every person in the dream is you. Right. You know what I mean? But your voice, you have Thank this you. voice yeah. that yeah. is like <laughs> this voiceover. So did your, your, would your voice change dramatically when you're talking to, you know? <laughs> no, no. But you know what I did discover when I was 13 years old, and this was fun, because as a 13-year-old boy, this was just like the bomb. I could do Darth Vader for my oh. buddies. Yeah. You know what I mean? We do that. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. So he made you as cool, so he could do it. Right, right. Um, I have to do this. I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> so, it was a perfect Darth yeah. Vader. And you'd sit there and you'd play yeah. with your kid, you know. Uh, Can you ever do that in the bedroom? I'm just curious. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> Well, <laughs> I had to go there. I'm sorry. It was like well, this role playing thing, you know? Uh, no, yeah, no. Actually, you know what? My, voice, my, my, my wife is not that impressed by my voice anymore, which is really cool. Like, I mean, we've, we've been married for 25 years. It's not. Wow. It's not the voice that that impresses her. Anymore. Well, you have a great voice. Well, anyway. thank you very much. Perhaps it's the holiday films. We've got a clip from mm -hmm. the sweetest Christmas. Oh, the sweetest Christmas. Do you? Oh, oh, we do. Okay. Let's take That's a look. Great. Before your dad died, he asked me to look after you. Well, I don't need looking after. I'm a grown man, man. I got work to do. Okay, but just, just answer me one question. Make it a fast one. Why are you giving Connie such a hard time about the contest? I want her to trust her talent. I don't want this to end badly for her. 
Uh, how about you clarify something? That's two questions. I, 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 I think you're anxious. I think you're scared that once the contest is over, you won't see Kylie. Oh, come on, man. No, no, you come on. And you're crazy about her. I can see it in your face every time you say it. You, you want me to take a poll of the kitchen stand? <laughs> oh wow! Oh, yeah. That's like oh, some hallmark. <laughs> 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 like a little hallmark holiday. Right. Uh, you know, you mentioned that you've been married for how many years? Twenty-five years. This wow. April. Congratulations. So, what do you think is the secret to maintaining a successful relationship, especially when you live a life in Hollywood? Uh, communication is number one, and number two is also communication. I think number three might also, <laughs> might also be communication. You really gotta keep talking, and you can't ever, you can't ever shut the door. And you really need to um, let each other know, like you said, your authentic self. Mm -hmm. And I also think a marriage is not necessarily about you becoming, um, losing yourself in a marriage. Mm. I think you become my wife, my wife's name is Monica. So uh, my job is to nourish Jonathan and Monica and still be Jonathan. And her job is to nourish Jonathan and Monica and still be Monica. You know what I mean? Mm. So we are, we, it's not about, you know, we're, we're trying to keep that together. We are trying to keep that together. And that's what we're working on. Mm. And that's what we do. Oh, is it always work? Is it, is it work at 25 years or is it easy all at did you break through something? You sometimes it's up and down like everything else, mm -hmm. like all like everything in life. You have your ups and downs. You have your moments where it's not working. You have your moments where it works like gangbusters. You have your, but all throughout that, you realize that you're family and that you love each other. Period. Mm -hmm. so, and a little so laughter goes a long way. And a little too. Laughter, Darth Vader, uh -huh. Vader. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. and occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> Although, like I said, she's not that impressed. Yeah. <laughs> so tell everyone where they can find and follow your personal journey as well. Oh, uh, find and follow my personal journey. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What does that mean? I don't know. And social media. I don't oh, know. oh. Yeah. <laughs> See, that's what you should have said. <laughs> it is, oh, wait, wait. No, I, I, am, I am on Twitter. But that's about it. And that's all I really do. I do Twitter, John Adams VO, and that's it. And, uh, you know, and, I'm, and there's, I'm on Fox on Last Man Standing Fridays at 8. Mm -hmm. Fridays at 8. Fox. Thank you so much. Love it. Thank you so much. All right, man. Appreciate nice it. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.